Here is my interpreter I wrote for my esoteric two-dimensional programming language, Starfish, in Smile Basic 4 on the Nintendo Switch. If you'd like to try it yourself, um, the public key is 4QJS3B3W3. You can also see the public key on screen. You just need to install Smile Basic 4 off of the eShop. I'm going to display and explain some of the examples contained in this project. If you'd like to know more about Starfish, I've left a link in the description to the specification. I'm going to start with a couple simpler scripts, explain and demonstrate how they work, then show off a couple more com complex examples. Here's a Hello World program. It doesn't do much, but it does show you the basics. You'll see an animation appear on screen. This shows you the program running live. This is loading the text onto the stack, reversing it, then outputting it one character at a time with the lowercase o operator. When the cursor is blue, it's not executing non-movement instructions until it hits the capital O operator. The semicolon operator signifies the program's end. This might sound more complicated than it really is, but basically the meat of the program is O L question mark U exclamation mark pipe. To break that down, O means pop a character from the end of the stack and output it. L means push the length of the stack onto the end of the stack, so our hello world string before it's output anything, would push 13 to the end of the stack, because that's the total amount of characters that are displayed there. Uh, question mark U, exclamation mark pipe. This just means check the number on the end of the stack. This would be our length we just got. If it's not zero, then execute U. What will happen when U is run is it'll stop executing operational instructions until it hits a capital O. So you can interpret this as go back to start, because the pipe operator will cause the fish to invert its direction and head back towards the beginning. When the length is zero, this means we've output all our text. This will execute the exclamation mark operator instead, which will skip over the second last operator, the pipe. And after that, we have the semicolon, program is finished. This is only one dimension though. I'll demonstrate basic two dimensions in the next example. Here's a digital clock program. You can see it running alongside an animation here. As you can see, it can freely execute instructions while traveling in any direction. Alright, let's take a look at other examples. Here's a simple greeting program. I had fun writing this one. You can't backspace, but it displays what keys you've pressed as you press them. Uh, this one's interesting on Smile Basic 4 because it'll constantly ask you if you want to overwrite a file. Uh, I like it at least. Demonstrates the concept. So, file not found, file name counter. Oh, save the file. Yep. And you can see we've run it zero times. Run that again. And now we've run it one time. 
Alright, time for my favorite one. Uh, this is my favorite Starfish program, and I'm very happy to have it running on the Switch. I had to remove a couple waves for the Smile Basic 4 version, as the output was too large. But I think this looks great anyways. Like, look at those waves flow. There's just something relaxing about it. I'll try to picture the wave script on this video. The top line might be cut off, but it's mostly just building the waves themselves. I'll have a link to the full script as well as a lengthy description of how it works in the description of this video. Well, that's everything. Thanks for watching this video, I've left some links in the description. If you like this video or would like to see more videos like it, please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment what you'd like to see more of. Peace!